I have a huge stack of books with um, what I am going to show you guys today are my five star predictions. There's 11 books and you know how sometimes you will like save books on your TBR because you just feel like they're going to be a really good book. This is that stack for me where I kind of like go through them slowly because I don't want to read them all at once. Don't know why us book lovers do that, but uh, comment below if you guys do that too. So yeah, let's get in this video. I hope you guys find some good five star um, books. I'm just predicting their five stars, so I don't really know if they are. But usually my predictions for books are extremely accurate. Like if I think something's gonna be four star, it usually is, or five star it is, I just like know my style. So let's get into this video. A lot of these books are friends to lovers trope. Not all of them, but like I just love a good friends to lovers trope. And I think it's because that's how my husband husband and I met we were literally like best friends throughout college and then we started dating when I was 19 and have been married ever since well married after we dated for six years so together for 11 um but the first book that comes to mind when I think about five star like books is this one called a love letter to whiskey by uh Candy Steiner it is an Amazon top 10 book and it's an international best-selling phenomenon and the reviews on this are literally incredible. There are so many high like ratings for this book and I just feel like this is going to be a five star read for me. Um, this book is about two people who I think it's like set over a couple year span and they're best friends and I guess the girl I think her best friend starts dating the guy and maybe that's like how they meet or something on the back it says I saw him first but it didn't matter because he saw her he was my best friend and I was his we couldn't be together but we couldn't stand to be apart and if you're not truly lovers but you're so much more than friends what exactly are you and I feel like this is just gonna be such a beautiful like love story it says it has the old school angst that kept me enthralled and turning pages and Penelope Ward said that on the front of this book so this is the first book that I think is gonna be five stars I just I can just feel it in my bones this book has incredible reviews and so many people love A.E. Valdez's writing and I actually read one of A.E. Valdez's books. It was like a three star for me but I honestly think it was because the book was very short. It kind of reminded me of like a novella. So this will be my first like thick book by this author and one thing that I love about her writing in um, the other book that I read like the you could feel the love like dripping off of the characters. She just writes like a good love so well and so I feel like if I have more to flesh out the love story I'm really gonna fall in love with it and this is gonna be a five star read for me so this is about Marissa Banks and she's like completely humiliated because she finds out that her boyfriend that she's been with for months is with another woman so whenever that happens she's just like writing men off she's like I just like whatever I'm over this and then she meets Asher Blaine and I guess she is kind of like drawn to him but she's like I don't want to be with him so she tells him like give me your best eight hours like your best eight hours and then like we'll go our separate ways and then of course he delivers um so then they kind of go their separate ways and then i think they end up meeting um it says asher's job sends him to marissa's city and they're when they're past cross again it's asher's turn to make an offer and just like him she can't refuse so i'm guessing maybe he's like give me your best eight hours or something like that and it says will her worst nightmare and his complicated past ruin what they're building or can they lean on one another to make it through and again this book has so many good ratings so i just feel like this is going to be a five star for me it's called throttle by lauren asher and it's in the dirty air series it's the first book in that series i read the dreamland billionaire series by lauren asher and was absolutely obsessed rated all those books four stars and i feel like this book is going to be a five star book and five star series for me i just really love her writing if you kind of like books with lots of dialogue i feel like she just does that so so well um the back is kind of like ambiguous like i don't really know what the book is about but it's about maya and noah i think he's like a race car driver because it says he's unapproachable ruthless on and off the track um and it says that maya is like a forbidden temptation for noah um and it doesn't really say like much else but i just feel like this is going to be five stars for me i also feel like because the book um doesn't say much and i'm going into it not knowing much about it um i feel like that will also lend to it being another five star read for me i truly don't know if i've seen more like five star reviews for a book than this one this has such a high rating on goodreads but also i've seen so many people in book talk talk about this book i feel like this is going to be another five star read for me because it's about dominique and sloan and dominique is um 
It says, Dominique Exan Alexander is my late husband's best friend and the last man on earth that I should want. So this whole book is like premised around Sloane losing her husband and after 12 years um, of her, like of knowing um, Dominique, they, I guess, maybe start to like kindle something and she just like can't really stand him. He was like the annoying best friend. And I just feel like this is gonna be such a good book because they're not only connected by knowing each other for 12 years, but they're connected through like their love for her like late husband. So I don't know, I just feel like it's gonna be a good one. Again, I've heard so many good things. Um, it's called Restore Me by A.E. Not A.E. Valdez, J.L. Seekers. And this is the first book and there are three books in this series. I know some people were obsessed with this book and some people hated this book, but I feel like I'm going to be obsessed. Um, I really love Emily Henry's writing. I loved Beach Read and I recently bought her newest book. I think it's called Happy Place. I'm pretty sure like Happily Ever After or something like that. Um, but this is like a best friends to lovers trope. And again, you guys know it's my favorite trope. On the back it says, two best friends, 10 summer trips, one last chance to fall in love. And it says that Poppy and Alexander have like always been just like so connected, like besties, super, super close. And then it says until two years ago when they ruined everything and they haven't spoken since. So you don't really know what happened to ruin their relationship, but you just know that something happened. And I also feel like this is gonna be the perfect summer read because it just like gives vacation vibes. Um, and it says Poppy has everything she should want, but she's stuck in a rut. When someone asks when she was last truly happy, she knows without a doubt that it was on that ill-fated final trip with Alex. And so she decides to convince her best friend to take one more vacation together because they take vacations together every single year. Um, and I guess he agrees. And so during that week that they're together, um, she tries to fix everything and fix their friendship. And I think it just obviously is like a friend to lovers trope. So I'm assuming they get together, but I just love this trope and Emily Henry's writing is chef's kiss. This is another book with unusually high ratings on Goodreads and I've just heard so many people talk about this. This is actually a altern like alternative cover. I think this is the UK cover because the other cover literally has a picture of just a man just like staring into like the abyss and I just couldn't deal with that cover. So I bought this one from Book Depository, which I think is actually going out of business sadly. Um, but this is about Rose and Jack and she just lost her uncle and she had a dream of owning his coffee shop, but in his will it says that the coffee shop will go to Rose's husband and not to Rose specifically. And so Rose's lawyer, Jack, he offers to get married to Rose and then like give her the cafe. Um, so it is a marriage of convenience, but I think that this is gonna be something so beautiful because I've heard so many people talk about this book. I've also heard people talk about To Love Jason Thorne by the same author and said that that book is incredible. Um, and they read that one right after this one and I feel like if an author can not only write one incredible Griffin book but two then like there's something good about that author so I'm really excited to read this one. Before I Let Go by Kennedy Ryan has been one of my favorite five-star reads that I read I think it was last year and her writing is just like unmatched. I recently read Flow by Kennedy Ryan which was like a smaller book but so good. I literally bought the whole series right after, rated that series five four stars and I just feel like this is gonna be a five star read for me. It has thousands of reviews on Goodreads and the rating is like 4.48 or 4.5 or something like that and like people just like rave about this book. The second book also comes out um, I think this year or next year it comes out like really soon so i'm really excited to read this one and it's about um two characters it doesn't really say their name but one of them she's an actress and she's like always been trying to be an actress and then it says canon holt he's a famous film director and i guess he sees her acting in like a show or something on stage and it's like she's so talented i want her to be in like one of my productions and it says forbidden attraction scandal and circumstances beyond my control jeopardy my dream could this one shot the role of a lifetime the love of a lifetime cost me everything so I'm assuming they have like a forbidden love scenario and I just like have heard so many good things about this book normally the cover would kind of throw me just because I don't typically 
I'm not like obsessed with covers of people to be honest, but because so many people have said that this is a great book, I had to pick it up. So um, again, this is Real by Kendi Ryan, and I'm pretty sure a second book comes out like sometime next year. This book is about Quinn and Graham, and it's called All Your Perfects by Colleen Hoover. I love Colleen Hoover books. They're so easy to read. I just go through them so fast. I feel like I've been really savoring this book because it's about a marriage, and she doesn't normally write about marriage. Um, I feel like she typically writes about like, relationships or like dating and like things like that and I think that one of the things in this book um that is really could be like triggering triggering or difficult is I think that it deals with um well look up the trigger warnings I don't want to tell you like what it is but there's something that the couple struggles with and it like is tearing them apart and so I am really excited to see how Quinn and uh, Graham deal with this struggle in their marriage. I like reading about books about marriage because I'm married and I feel like you don't see that very often. And this is Colleen Hoover and she can do no wrong in my book because she's so like, I don't know, her books are so easy to read. So I'm really excited to read this one. I recently read Archer's Voice by Mia Sheridan and was in love with the book, the characters, everything. It just was so, so good. And so I picked up this book because I wanna read more books by her. I just love the way that she writes things. It just feels so heartfelt and cozy. Um, and this book is actually like a friends to lovers trope. It's about Callan and Jessica. And I guess Callan has her first kiss or Callan kisses Jessica and Jessica has her first kiss with Callan when she's 11 and then um, they kind of like lose connection with each other and then it says years later everyone knows who Callan Hayes is. He's a famous composer, he's an infamous bad boy, um, but what no one knows is that Callan's music is now locked deep inside, trapped behind his, his own inner demons. It's only when he withdraws to France to drink his way through the darkness that Callan stumbles into the one person who makes their music return, Jessica. His is Jessie and she still tastes a fresh sweet innocence and it says that they they don't belong in each other's worlds anymore there are too many mistakes too many secrets too many lies all they have is that one instinctive longing that need and something that looks dangerously like love I mean friends to lovers like and you have your first kiss at 11 with this person and you're still connected to them years later is literally like the best trope it's so so cute and um i feel like mia sheridan hooked me with uh archer's voice i rated that book like a 4.5 out of 5 so i feel like she'll hook me with this one as well i feel like i like have not cried as much as i cried when reading magnolia parks in so long like for a book and that book literally had me like just bawling my eyes out if you guys want to watch the video you can i think it was in my maybe 24 hour reading vlog i can't remember but it was so good and I feel like if you want to read a book where it feels like a reality TV show, literally read this series. I'm really excited to read Daisy Hates. I rated uh, Magnolia Parks a 4.5 out of 5. You guys know I'm very, 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 very harsh with my ratings and like five star ratings because for me a five star book is something you can't stop thinking about. It's a book that you want to come back to and read over and over again. Um, and I love Magnolia Parks, but I feel like Daisy Hates is gonna give that five star like feel because Daisy is just so strong and I love a strong character. Like any character that is just like, don't mess with me, I'm a boss, like get out of my way, I have things to do. Like that is my kind of character that I love. Um, so I feel like I'm really gonna love her story and just the whole series in general. If you want to read a book that literally feels like a reality TV show, read this book. It is written in such a unique way. It's not written like any other book I've ever read and you have to know going in that the characters are toxic, that the relationships are to toxic. It kind of gives Gossip Girl vibes. Like we knew Buck, <laughs> wow. <laughs> we knew Chuck and Blair should not have been together. Like literally we knew they shouldn't have been together, but we were still rooting for them because as toxic as they were, we could see how real the love was. And I feel like that's the Magnolia Parks vibe like of the books. So um, I feel like this is gonna be five stars. I've been holding off on this series because the first one was so good, but I feel like because another book is coming out, I think maybe next year or maybe it's September, I can't remember. Um, I feel like I need to start like hopping back into this world. Um, so I'm really excited to read this and I feel like it's definitely gonna be a five star read. For me. I swear I always pick up books in series by accident, but I just, 
that's just the way it is. I feel like if a book turns into a series, the book is probably really good. And this is the first book in um, the Stay With Me series. And this book is called Stay With Me by Nicole uh, Fiorona. I also didn't tell you um, who Daisy Hayes is by. It's by Jessa Hastings, if you were wanting to pick up that book. But this book is about Mia, who she gets sent to like a reformatory school for like dangerous kids and like troubled youth. And she gets there and is pretty much just like really struggling. Um, she doesn't really care that she's there. She's like kind of just over everything and she's keeping her head down and just ignoring everyone. And then it says, um, Mia never anticipated Ollie Masters. With green eyes, tattoos, and the voice of a poet, she's quickly drawn to him, but because of her sociopath tendencies, she knows it could only end in one of two ways. Either she will be the one to free her, either he will be the one to free her from her past, or she will be the one to destroy him. And this book also has such high ratings on Goodreads, and just so many people rave about this whole series. And I wanted to pick up a lot of books that I haven't heard a ton of people talk about, because I love when I read books that people love, but I also love reading books that I haven't really heard people talk about, so I can share them with you guys, and we can like kind of start a buzz around it. And I haven't heard too many people talk about this book, but I've seen so many like high ratings on Goodreads for this. So I'm really excited to add this in and I feel like this is gonna be a five star read as well. So that is my stack of books that I think is going to be um, just a full group of five star books all right here. And if you guys want more videos just about books and chatting about books and um, more book recs, you guys should definitely subscribe because I upload videos on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So three times every single week, which I honestly feel like is wild sometimes. Hope you guys are enjoying it. Um, right now I'm reading A Little Life and I'm also reading, um, what is this other book? It's called um, Behind the Scenes by Christina C. Jones, which also that author I have not heard um, a ton about, but I'm really glad that I picked up this book because it is so good. I kind of try to go back and forth between like a black author and maybe a more popular book that isn't like a diverse read. Um, and I'm really liking it. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.